In my last video, we concluded with setting up the app service in Azure that we're gonna host our Node.js application in. In this video, we're gonna take it a step further now and hook in our GitHub account where the Node.js source code is located. So let's jump over to my GitHub account and the repository that's hosting my Node.js source code. In this case, the repository name is simple node server and I have the API code under server.js. In this file, we can see it's pretty straightforward. I'm leveraging Express to set up a server, and then I have one endpoint that's gonna return back an API response, letting us know that the server is running on a particular port. Now that we've seen the source code and what our Node API looks like, let's figure out how we hook Azure into this particular GitHub repository. We'll go back over to the portal, and I'm looking at that testing simple Node 1 Azure app service. What we want to focus on is the deployment. And the way I learned how to hook all this up was through the quick start option here. In this option, it asks you, what development stack would you like to use? And we can see here there's six different options we have, but the one we want to focus on is Node.js, so I'll click on that. Then it asks, how would you like to deploy your app? And it looks like the cloud-based source control is the option we want to go with, so I'll click on that. In here, it gives you the steps that you would need to follow in order to hook up deployment to your cloud-based source control. The first step is a prerequisite. We need to make sure that we have a valid account at that cloud source control provider we chose. For us, it would be GitHub. The next step is figuring out the deployment option. So we need to select our preferred deployment source from the options list. The way we can access that is by clicking this little link here, or we can go to deployment options on the left-hand side. We'll click on that. In here, we open up a new blade now, and it says to us which source do we want to use? So we click on that and we can see the various cloud-based source control providers out there. Visual Studio Team Services, Local Git Repository, and there's GitHub, the one that we want to select. So I had already hooked up my GitHub account to my Azure account, and that's where this authorization comes into play. Most likely you'll see something to create and link an, an account for you, and then you would set that up here. After that, you want to choose your organization, in this case, it's just under my personal organization. Then the next option is to choose the project. And what they really mean here is what repository do you want to hook up to? In our case, it's the simple node server. And then if you wanted to change the branch, select that from this particular option here. And then we click OK. So it's successfully set up the deployment source. So how do we see what's going on? Well, we click deployment options again, and we can see no deployments found. So what we need to do is click sync, and then we are sure we want to synchronize. So the synchronized request was submitted, and then we could see a little progress going on now. So let's pause here for a minute while that runs. Okay, and we're back, and now we can see that that sync finished successfully and is active for our application server. So we can go back over to the overview and click on Browse to go to the website. When this loads, we should see the response from the Node API, and we do. So I hope you found this really helpful, and if you have any comments or questions for me, feel free to reach out on Twitter or in the comments below.